Hey guys! Okay, so the first thing that I'm sure you noticed is that my hair is a little bit different. Um, I went home for spring break last week and I had my mom braid my hair. And no, this is not all my hair. Obviously my hair didn't grow 12 inches in, you know, a couple weeks. Um, but just with, you know, spring coming and so it's rainy and the humidity, it's just a lot easier for me to deal with my hair when I'm just wearing it in braids. Um, and yeah, so you'll be seeing it like this for the next couple months. Now getting into the video, I'm sure you're looking at the title and you're like, what is a quarter of your favorites? Um, so I'm sure you guys are familiar with monthly favorites videos, but I do not go shopping enough in a four week time span to have like tons of favorite things to show you. So what I thought I would do is do four favorites videos over the course of the year. So March is a fourth of the way through the year, so this is quarter year favorites. Then in June I will do my mid-year favorites, September will be nearly yearly favorites, and December will be my favorites of the entire year. Um, and so then for those four favorites videos I have uh, five categories. Um, I have beauty, clothes, YouTube channels, blogs, and food. And within beauty, I have six categories. I have face, lips, eyes, nails, hair, and body. So I have quite a few things to cover. I guess I will just jump right into it and we will start with beauty, we'll start with face. Um, so the face makeup that I have been using for, I got it over winter break, I believe. So I've been using this for a couple months now is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. So it's this here, and I am the shade Glamber, or I'm so Glamber, yes, I'm so Glamber, which is an amber shade, um, and so it just has a pump like this, as you can see, you can see that, okay, got an email. Um, what I really like about this, oh, it's by Benefit, sorry, uh, what I like about this is that it doesn't make me break out, it doesn't give me a rash, um, I, that's a problem I've had with face makeups in the past, is just... My skin is very sensitive so any even just like certain face washing products will produce um, I get this weird allergic reaction that will just all over my face and I haven't encountered that with this so I'm very excited to have discovered this product all right so next we will do eyes and I have three four I have a couple of things for eyes my first thing is the Sephora micro smooth baked eyeshadow palette. Sorry, I don't know why I have so much trouble saying that. Um, so it comes it comes like this. There was a little Sephora band right there, but it came off. Um, you open it up, and it looks like this. And so we have the highlighter, blush, and bronzer, and then 15 different eyeshadow shades. Um, I really like this. Uh, the thing I like, I think, the most about it... Oh, I didn't realize how dirty it was. Sorry. What I really like about this palette, and I'm not sure if this is typical for baked eyeshadows, but when you wet your brush, you get such a stronger pigment. Um, and I've been using the royal blue and the purple a lot lately just to try to bring out the browns in my eyes. Today I went very neutral with browns and golds, but um, I really like this. I really like the size of it too. It pretty much fits anywhere. Um, when I have to anchor at school, I will just put this in my backpack and it, I mean, it's lightweight, it's, I really like this a lot. So, um, and it has this cover on it, which is, which I'll put back, um, but yes, so I highly recommend this. I got it over winter break when it was on sale. I know that Sephora has like a mini baked eyeshadow palette and I plan on getting that once my natural or neutral colors um, run out. The next eye thing that I have is my Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Lycra Flex Mascara in extreme black and so it looks like this and it's just a volumizing mascara what I like about it is all you need is one coat and it promises no clumping which it I mean for the most part it feeds to that promise um, you have to be very meticulous I guess which I don't know I like to spend time doing my makeup so it doesn't really bother me um, but I have to show you this brush because this brush is out of control that's it okay so this is the brush here. I mean, do you see how big this brush is? It's insane. It's so big. Um, but I really like it, and I just I just use the one coat. And okay, I don't know how different people define coats. My idea of a coat is like I've removed it from the bottle, 
and I do this and that's one coat like every time you dip it back into the bottle is a coat um, that's how I view it but so yes with one coat this is perfect my other favorite thing about this is it was only 519 and I feel like mascaras nowadays if you want a decent volumizing mascara they cost like eight plus dollars and I'm a college student and but I still want to look beautiful so deals bargains I like them my next eye favorite is a liquid eyeliner. This is NYC High Definition Liquid Liner. What I like about this is that it's like a marker, um, and so you have a lot of control. And that's a big thing for me. Um, I'm not very good with eyeliners, so I need whatever can be done to make it easier for me. Um, so let me just show you. Now, it's not very pigmented. You can see... Zoom in close there. Um, it's not very pigmented, so I do have to go over it more than once, which is totally fine by me. This only cost, I think this was maybe like $2 or $2.50 maybe. So, and this is the third or fourth one that I've purchased. So I highly recommend this just because, I don't know, it's easy to control and I like the packaging. I like packaging. I like how, you know, it's just a marker and it's super simple. So highly recommend this. My last kind of eye thing is my Anastasia Brow Wiz Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette, I believe. Yes, Brunette. Um, so we have the spool brush on this end, as you can see, and then on the other end we have the product, and the product screws up there at the top. And I really like this eyebrow pencil. I think this is the seventh one that I've purchased. I, I've tried other pencils and I always end up returning them and buying this one again because I just have so much success with it. And I, in 10th grade, a friend convinced me to go get my eyebrows waxed and this eyebrow, she took a whole chunk of skin out. The eyebrow has never grown back the same. So I have been using this since then and, but people don't believe me. Like, I'll talk to someone about makeup. I'm like, yeah, you know, I pencil in my eyebrow. And they're like, wait, what? And they get, they're like, I need to get really close. And I need to see this pencil that you supposedly use. Um, so I really like this. And I don't use any kind of setting gel or um, tint at all. I just use this pencil. I don't use any powder either. That's something that makes me very nervous. I don't know. I feel like if I tried to use powder in my eyebrows, I would screw it up. So highly recommend this pencil. All right, my last face beauty favorite is for my lips, and I probably don't even need to define this because I'm sure you all know what it is, um, but this is the Revlon Just Fit and Kissable Balm Stain in Honey, of course. Um, now mine is flat on the top because I've been using it so much, uh, but I really, I love this. I really love this product. Um, I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I... If you watch some of my past videos, I oh in the table. Um, if you watch some of my past videos, I'm sure you've seen me wearing, you know, lipsticks, very reds and berries. But I'm not a big lipstick person. I don't like the commitment, and you know, you have to even ones that say they last for a long time. You have to keep going back and checking them and reapplying, and that's just a lot of work. So uh, what I like about this is you can go hours without touching it up, and then if you want to just put chapstick on, you can do that because it's a it's a stain, so then your lips still have color on them. Um, and I like the menthol aspect to it. I, You can kind of smell it a little bit. Um, when you put it on, it has kind of a menthol effect to it, which I think is really cool. And I highly recommend this. Moving on to body, I have a little combo situation here. So I have two things from Bath & Body Works. This is the Sea Island Cotton Body Spray. And then this is the Aromatherapy Boost Body Lotion in Tangelo Woods. And so I really like this combination together. I know there was a body wash and body spray for this. I know there's a body lotion for this. Um, I lost the body lotion for this. And I was using this in my bathroom just as like a hand lotion. And then I started using it on my body. And I really like this combo together. Also, <laughs> you'll notice there's no nozzle. I broke it. Anyway. Um, along with these two things, I use the Suave Naturals Ocean Breeze uh, body wash. And... I just, like, this is just beautiful. It's just miraculous. I don't know what it is. And it's so springy. It's so, like, it's not overpowering Orange Grove, and it's not seasickness, which would also go along with this. Um, and this isn't, you know, it doesn't smell like sand or anything, but it's just a very fresh, like, <sighs> I'm ready for spring. 
So now on to hair. I have this shampoo that I've been using. Um, it's the Organics Moroccan Argan Oil. So this is the shampoo and the conditioner, and they come in these little bitty bottles like this. Um, and someone, I really need to use sulfate-free shampoo just because I give myself a relaxer. I, you know, put so much heat on it. I've dyed it a few times, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So whatever good I can do for my hair, I would like to try. And so uh, one of my followers, I think it's abnormal but insane. Um, she recommended organics to me, and I'm in love. I love it. And I am such an advocate for argan oil. Um, I put argan oil on my hair when I have it down. Um, I have a spray version that I use when I have my braids in. Um, but I love, I love this stuff. And it's sulfate free and it smells so good. And they have so many different kinds. So if you don't want to use Moroccan argan oil, they have like coconut milk and they have, you know, sweet honey and like all these different kinds. So I highly recommend this. Another bonus is you can get it at Walmart. And any other sulfate-free shampoos that I've gotten, I've had to get them at like Sally's Beauty Supply and they cost so much. These are $6.99 a piece, which I, I mean, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair like once a week, once every two weeks. So, I mean, this will last me a long time, um, but I, I still, regardless of the price, I 100% recommend it. When my hair is down, it feels very soft. Um, it almost feels like after I've left the salon, if I've gone to get my hair done, it just... It has so much movement and body and it just, I, can you tell I love this shampoo? Now onto nails. This is the last uh, beauty thing that I have. So I have two things, sort of. Um, so the first thing, I have this, the Ultimate Manicure System by Trim. And so this is the uh, tool here. And so it's like, where's the button? There we go. So what you do, and then it comes with these here. Ooh, I'm zooming in really fast. Okay, so these are the little tools that you get, and so I'll just kind of show you how it works. Um, this is the buffing tool, so you just snap it into the top like that, and then it just... Um, and so I got this at Target. It was $8, I believe, and it has been the best thing that I could have ever purchased for my nails. Um, those of you who follow me on Tumblr, you know that my nails are like the single most important thing to me. I always have my nails done. I just love doing my nails. And so this has been a big help as far as keeping the surfaces really smooth, keeping my cuticles clean. If I ever have a day, which is really rare, um, where I just want to wear clear polish and I want my nails to be, you know, not stained or anything because I actually don't use a base coat. Um, I have found more success not using a base coat, but then, you know, my nails get stained. Um, this has really helped. And I know some people are probably thinking, you know, you shouldn't buff your nails so often and you shouldn't, you know, be so abrasive because your nails are going to be really thin. Um, I actually have found that my nails have been stronger because I've been taking better care of them. Um, so Target, highly recommend this. It was only eight bucks, so go get it. My last beauty favorite, or yes, is a nail polish. And this is Color Club, uh, oh shoot. My last favorite, uh, as far as beauty goes, is a nail polish, and this is Color Club Halo Hues in the shade Harp on it, and so I actually have, you can see it there as my little try accent, um, and this is a um, holographic nail polish. I really, 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 really like this a lot. Um, I did have it on all 10 of my nails a couple weeks ago. It was a little intense. I think this is the perfect... Uh, polish for an accent because it's holographic it can go with literally any nail polish color and like it looks good so I have it as the accent on my nails right now as you can see and I love it I love it best best now moving on to clothes I have two things the first thing is my winter coat um, it the brand is Nautica and or Nautica. Uh, I got it at Macy's. It was on sale for $110, which is a really good deal. And if you live in the Midwest like I do, you know that having a good winter coat is I no, it's not even ideal. It's literally necessary like for survival. Um so, let me try to show you this coat. Okay, so it's just a gray coat. What I like is that here in the waist, um there is a drawstring so then you can make the waist narrower so it's a lot more flattering and but my second favorite part is this hood 
that you can see is lined with fur all the way around and the inside it's so soft and if you see some of my older videos you'll see me wearing like a top knot or I have a bun in the back and when I have those buns with my old North Face coat my hood wouldn't fit it would sit like awkwardly back far on my head but this hood is so spacious and roomy I can put it completely over my bun and the hood still comes around my forehead which was really exciting so I'm absolutely obsessed with this coat and I highly recommend checking out Macy's in general for actually everything I love Macy's that's like they have the best return policy and they're so friendly and I can I always find something there I never don't find something there sorry that is not the point of this video my next clothing favorite is a pair of boots um, these are by Matisse get them in the frame here okay so these are by Matisse and so they're just like they're a chestnut brown um, they do that all right so they zip up here on the inside and then the back has these buckles as you can see there's four buckles that go along the back I've had these boots for a couple years now I believe I got these my senior year of high school and I honestly believe that a chestnut leather boot is like the ultimate fall winter shoe staple for any girl um, because it goes with everything and I actually just had the soles redone as well as the heels because I'd had them for so long that the heels were completely worn out and there were holes in the soles and I was getting water in them and it was dreadful so um, and I tried to I do polish them I try to polish them maybe like once once a month once every few weeks just to keep them nice and I just I love these boots they're such good boots and so Matisse in general I have a couple other Matisse boots and I just recommend them I just think they're a very good shoemaker and I've never been disappointed with anything I've purchased from them before. Okay, now I have some food favorites. The first one is Reese's peanut butter eggs. These are seriously the reason, th this is the reason Easter exists. It's really not. I know it's not, but <laughs> This is my favorite Easter candy. Um, the thing I like about Reese's eggs is the peanut butter to chocolate ratio. And if you look at the wrapper, I'm going to show you this. Okay, so the milk chocolate is up there at the top, really tiny. And the peanut butter is down here, and it's really big. But in a regular Reese's, there's so much chocolate and barely any peanut butter. But in this, there's barely any chocolate and a lot of peanut butter. So these are my favorite. Um, and these are this one's tiny because I have a bag of them that I bought. I was hoping... If I had a bag, you know, I'd be like, oh, I'll ration them out, you know, like, one a day. The bag's not empty yet, so props to me. My next food favorite is probably not the healthiest thing, um, but, you know, I'm a college student. This is pancake mix, just add water. It is pancake mix where you just add water. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know why I think this is so revolutionary, but I... You just have water. That's all you do. And it's so fast and it's so easy. And I mean, I, I like pancakes, you know? And sometimes I want to have pancakes and eggs and orange juice and little strawberries on the side. You know, like a, a little picturesque breakfast. But pancakes take some time. So when I saw this at Walmart, I pretty much freaked out. And I love it because it's easy. And if I have extra time or I'm feeling really fancy, then I will throw in some vanilla or some brown sugar and then... I don't know. Make them fancy. <laughs> you can tell you're in college when you think fancy is adding brown sugar to pancakes. My next food favorite isn't really a food, but it's a vitamin. See, I am healthy. Um, these are Vitafusion Multivites. Complete multivitamin. Gummy vitamins for adults. And they have three flavors. Berry, peach, and orange. And so this is the economy size jar that my friend got for me from... Sam's Club, um, but they have like smaller jars too, and so let me show you what these look like. So they're just little, they look like this. Let me do that. And so they're just little circular, they're the size of like a marble, I guess. Um, you take two a day, and I've been eating these for the past month or so, and I can feel a difference. I do feel a difference in my overall health, which is exciting. I know, like, when you eat better and do good things for yourself, you want to feel those, the results. Um, so I highly recommend 
just a multivitamin in general, um, but I like these because they taste good and they're easy to take. Why did that come out like that? Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this doesn't end up being longer than 15 minutes. Um, I guess we'll see. You'll probably see this at the end and be like, girl, that was 25 minutes. Ooh, I hope not. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely Monday. This is Monday, and I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to do Moper Mondays, where I post a video every Monday. And yeah, I guess that's all. Feel free to message me. Um, if you want to connect with me in any way, just search Call Me Mopra on any social media site and you'll find me. And that's the end of the show. Awkward hands, because that's what I do. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!